No, I'm Congressman Bill Foster. I'm a scientist and businessman. It's my honor to represent the 11th Congressional District of Illinois in the U.S. House. It's a district that represents Aurora, Joliet, and Naperville, the second, third, and fourth largest cities in Illinois, and also the Brandon Road Lock and Dam Project, which represents the last best line of defense against the invasion of the Asian carp. And they're reaching the Upper Des Plaines River, uh, the Mississippi, well, the, sorry, Lake Michigan, and the entire Great Lakes Basin and all of its tributaries. Uh, this has been a long time coming. The, these invasive species were introduced about 40 years ago down in Arkansas. They've been moving up the Great Lakes, the Mississippi Basin since then. About 15 years ago, we recognized the threat and installed a set of electric barriers, which everyone recognized would not be sufficient to stop this threat. And uh, in the 10 years, that's why in the 10 years that I've been representing the area with the, the Asian carp barrier, it's been one of my highest priorities. I can't count the number of congressional delegations, Democratic and Republican, that I brought in to show them the site, show them the threat, and, and emphasize the importance of getting this money in place. It's hard to appreciate this threat unless you see it up close. About six years ago, my son took me down to show me this new sport that had been developed in response to the Asian carp. So he went down um, to an infested area of the river down by Peoria. And you get in an outboard, uh, outboard uh, boat and you sit on either side of the engine and with a compound bow. And you just drive through these infested areas and these gigantic carp jump out of the, bow, of the stern wake and you shoot them as they jump. And it is, you know, it sounds like fun, but, but seeing an entire river or an entire lake full of this invasive species is just makes you sick to your stomach. And I guarantee we do not want these in every tributary in the Great Lakes Basin. And um, so it's also, um, well, I guess it's, I'm really very proud that it's thanks to the investment of the Jobs Act that the Army Corps of Engineers finally has the resources uh, that it needs to finish planning and begin construction of this. 